Okay, so we have a whole lot of formulae, but don't worry, we'll attain a little more clarity as we go further. So just to make it simple, in a much more simple manner, I kept on telling about differentiation being a change in one quantity with respect to another quantity. Let's do this in the simplest possible example and make you understand what exactly is differentiation. Okay, now suppose you have a function here, yes, now you have a function here y which is nothing but f of x, right. Now suppose there is a small change in x, the smallest possible change of delta x and x, suppose x value was 3 and it has become 3.001. So, the delta x is 0 0.001. Obviously, y would also change according to that. So, y would also change to y plus delta y. Some change. There is some. So, a small change in x causes a small change in y. So, hence delta y, that is a change in y, which I will put it as capital Y, is nothing but f of x plus delta x that is a function when x's values x plus delta x as in this case 3 f the value of the function when x is 3.001 minus y. So, we can write this as delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x right. We will take up an example to make us understand this. So, this is the change in the value of y that is a function y when this kind of a thing has taken place. Now, when you find the ratio of this with respect to the smallest change, you have changed x. Hence, what is the ratio in the change of y with respect to change in x? So, we did delta y which is f of x plus delta x minus phi f of x. Now, we want to find the rate of this change in y with respect to change in delta x. So, obviously, this is going to be upon delta x. Now, you want to find this change in the smallest possible value of this. So, that means you make it as limit as delta x tends to 0 is f of x plus delta x minus f of x upon delta x. So, what have you done? You have found the change in the value of the function minus the change in the value of the function when x changed by delta x divided by the change in delta x keeping delta x the smallest possible. So, hence what are you doing? You are finding the smallest change in y with respect to the smallest possible change in x. When you are using the word smallest possible change, you are trying to keep small delta x as small as possible. That means delta x is approaching 0. Now, this whole thing is called dy by dx. That is the change in the value of x, that is this, upon a corresponding change in the value of x, the change in the value of y, upon the corresponding change in the value of x when the change in the value of x is the smallest possible change. This is called dy by dx. So, this is a concept of derivative. Now, to explain this, let us take a particular function say y is equal to say 8x. Okay, we can even take it as say y is the same as this is also the same as f of x. So, suppose x is equal to say 2. Suppose x is 2. In that case, f of x would be equal to 8 into 2, 16. Okay. Now, suppose x plus delta x now is 2.01. 2.01. In that case, f of x plus delta x would be nothing but 8 into 2.01 which will turn out to be 16.08. It's going to be 16.08. So, in that case, what is the change in the value of y? That is f of x plus delta x minus f of x. What is the change in value of y? So, this turns out to be 16.08 minus 16. 
upon this what is the change in x that is upon 0 0.01 so this turns out to be 0 0.08 upon 0 0.01 so hence this becomes 8 so this is how what you understand by delta y by delta x however this is not the derivative when you have a derivative you have the concept of variable so since we are dealing with function but you get an idea of what you mean by change in the value of y with respect to the smallest possible change in x when x changes by delta x what is the change in the value of y and what is the change for each of these smallest possible changes in x so you take it as a rate and hence you get the idea of delta y by delta x Furthermore, when you make delta x smallest, suppose I take it 2.0000000001 and for that you find f of x plus delta x upon, you will find that this becomes still smaller and smaller and smaller. So this becomes, this is the concept of delta y by delta x. So this is a rough idea of what differentiation basically does. As I told you, you take a particular curve, this is also a function, a circle, suppose it is. So then you break it up. You know that for a circle, the function is x square plus y square is equal to a square, right? So, for a unitary circle. So, if you keep breaking up, what is keep on changing the values of x, smallest possible change accordingly, what will be the change in the value of y? That you divide it by accordingly by the change in x. And as x becomes smallest, then you can find the value of the smallest possible region within this. That is what basically differentiation is all about so this is the idea of whatever we did it's small recap of whatever we did i told earlier about differentiation so as we did earlier dy by dx is nothing but change in y due to a unit change in x when change in x is very very small so if we write this we can write it as delta y by delta x limit as delta x tends to zero that's what it means change in y due to a change in x when change in x is smallest possible that is smallest is closest to zero this dy by dx as i told you can also be given by f dash x and what do you mean by slope suppose i have a curve like here dy by dx at any point is nothing but gradient of that curve gradient of that curve would means what what kind of angle does the curve make with the horizontal now this curve cannot make an angle so gradient of that curve is also the angle the slope of the tangent which is made to the curve at that particular point so gradient of that curve or slope of the tangent in short it is nothing but slope of tangent is going to be nothing but tan of that particular angle we know so slope can be calculated in terms of y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 or tan of that angle so given a particular function suppose uh, y square is equal to x square plus 16 okay then when you find the derivative of this using the same formula derivative of this then that itself is the slope of the tangent of this and hence we call that whether you are finding the derivative can be called f dash x it is also the slope of the tangent to that particular function or that particular curve right so hence this basic concept about differentiation we come across once again the more we repeat our concepts are becoming 